one. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Chris Long. With me, as always. It's Edmondson. What up, guys? Hell yeah. Welcome to One Shot Reviews, the show where we review the first episode of various animes and give you our opinion. Uh, real quick, right off the bat, guys, make sure to follow us on Twitter at ReviewsShot. Uh, you can send us an email, OneShotReviewsPod at gmail.com. We're on Instagram at underscore one shot reviews, and of course on YouTube and Spotify at One Shot Reviews. Now that that's out of the way, how are you, Lawrence? How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing yeah. a lot better now. This week's been kind of rough. My stomach's been stomach's been a little bit of an issue, but I think that I'm now. So as soon as I get off, as soon as we finish this, I'm gonna try and go find some meat. Hell yeah. I'm in the same boat. I got a half a pizza waiting. I'm gonna eat that later. <laughs> Fucking, you been watching any any new animes past week since we last chatted? I watched uh, same old, same old. Watched yeah. a new episode of TPN. Which, episode. by the way, holy shit, that was a good episode. Yeah. I thought it was good. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was. <laughs> uh, yo, TPN. Real quick, since we're on it, uh -huh. this season, it's different. It's a different vibe than season one. It feels like a different show than season one, you know? He gets it. He does. He gets yes, it. Yes, he does. It I'm went, like... Yeah, it went from being like a, uh, what, what do you call them? Like a, like a mystery thriller to like an action adventure thriller kind of thing, you know? Like the yeah. mystery isn't really there. Anymore. anymore it's more yeah, of like we've been through it all now yeah. so now yeah 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 like it's still there it's just not as like it's not like, like season one edge of your seat like <laughs> it's not like that so yeah this right. season i don't think it's as good as season one but okay. I, sometimes i don't even like using that terminology because then people automatically think it sucks when people say that. it's just a it's different a different it's just, a different yeah. thing it's still yeah. really good, but it's completely different than season one. They moved yeah. on to the next phase, and it's not the same as the first phase. So right. now we're just learning different stuff. We're adapting and stuff like that. So it's, you know, I did right. hear though, that they skipped a... Like a whole arc, yeah. Arc yeah. that was really good, apparently. Did you, did you see the link I sent you where people were, like, calling for the show to, like, stop? Did you see that? I did. <laughs> cause they were, cause they were all like they skipped this arc. Look at what they did to all these people. They fucked everything up. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yes, I did see that. I so like, I can understand being upset they skipped an arc, but I was like, all right, guys, these new people have been on screen for 0. 0.8 seconds. Let's relax. Let's let them actually show us who they are first before y'all start freaking out. <laughs> uh. Facts, but um, but yeah, the latest episode of JJK was crazy. I'm gonna watch it soon. I promise. And the, and the next one's gonna be even crazier because they, it just start the craziness starts near the end. Okay. So this Friday is gonna be nuts. I'm gonna. That's every time I'm like I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna. I think at this point I'm just gonna wait for it all to finish, and it's gonna be like a weekend that I just bang it all out. I know yeah. it's it's gonna be like uh, like hard hound like shipping in or not not shipping in like um. Fuck, what was that show? Yeah, like shipping in or like or like Bleach or whatever. When you you're watching it week to week, and then the whole week you're just screaming because you want to know what happens next. That's gonna mm -hmm. that that would be me. And I'm like, I it's only 24 episodes. I can wait. If it was you know a 500 episode epic that we knew was coming, then okay, I'd catch up. But mm -hmm. I'm like, no, it's it's 22 episodes. I can wait. I can wait yeah, till it's, it's done. It's a cool anime. We don't have 500 episodes anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But jeez. So all the all the animes watched now, you can just fucking watch them shits in a weekend, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, uh, jeez. Uh, what about so, you? You've been watching. Uh, I started watching a new show, which we'll uh, mention at the end of the show because it's what we're going to talk about next week. I'm yeah. um, like eight episodes into that. Uh, shit. What was the last? Uh. Angels of Death still chugging along. I think I'm on like episode seven of that. My usual weekly shows and uh, ch -ch -ch. I think the last anime I watched was Dragon. No, God Eater. I finally finished that. I took a break and I started watching some live action shit. I watched like uh, there's like a new Japanese 
uh, miniseries documentary type thing that's on Netflix. It's called like the Battle for Japan, and it talks about Nobunaga. Is that good? So fucking good, dude. And it's only like six episodes. Do you know who Nobunaga was? He was. Uh, I know Nobunaga is like a famous warrior, or some shit, right? In, yeah, in the 1500s, he 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 united all of Japan under one banner. Then was betrayed, and then someone else like took up the mantle. And it's just like after that, everyone was betrayed, like betraying everyone. And then Japan invaded Korea, and that's when the Chinese got the idea of like making Korea a North and South kind of thing. And like Japan went into this crazy thing. And then it, 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 like, at the end of it, you figure out, like, oh, the Shogun, how that title became, like, the most powerful title in Japan and stuff. And uh, it was pretty dope. And, and it's, it's, like... It's real? Like, that's for real how, how it went? Yeah, so, like, yeah, it's, like, an actual... It's, like, a history lesson, but with, like, all, like, uh, live-action, like, role-playing and stuff. It's, okay. like, one of those shows where they'll be, like, and then Nobunaga, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll have, like a reenactment of like what was going down and stuff okay. so it's pretty cool okay, okay. it's really good okay. really good if you like japanese history definitely check it out it was dope okay so i, th- I think i watched that i finished that up yesterday and uh wandavision still keeping up with that shit's getting wild we got one episode left i'm pretty sure yeah i heard about and that yeah, shit about that. is insane definitely have you been keeping up with it yeah uh know. I haven't watched episode seven and eight yet. Oh, dude, those two episodes, those two episodes are the payoff, my friend. That's when you find out who the villain is. That's when they introduce a new character when you're like, oh, shit. Uh, And then apparently there's going to be another cameo in the next episode, but they haven't revealed who it is yet. Paul Bettany has been like teasing. There's a new cameo coming up. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Pretty good. So definitely okay. worth checking out, and and you find out why Wanda went crazy and created created everything. It, I cried when you find the backstory. I'm sitting there like, dude, that's the saddest fucking shit I've ever yeah, seen. It's probably it's probably really good. Yeah, no, it's not. it's really good. It's really good. It's really sad. <laughs> oh know. man. But speaking of hard love, my friend, why don't we get into this week's episode? Of love is hard. Love, love sure is hard, man. Dude, it is. It is. <laughs> Why don't you take it away, my friend? Give us, give us the info. So, guys, we have for this week, we have love is hard for otaku. Yo, bro. What up? What is wotakoi? That's just the like Japanese name for okay. the thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought I thought this was another one of Chris's antics. <laughs> no, 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 so, no, no. <laughs> Wodakoi, Love is Hard for Otaku, is Japanese, is a Japanese web manga series written and illustrated by Fujita. Now, yeah. Love is Hard for Otaku, that's translated as to Love is Hard for Nerds. Yep. Um. So for <laughs> everyone, this is, we need to drop this now though we need to drop this little tidbit of information now so in the anime community otaku because there are people i i specifically know for a fact there are people who watch this who probably are going to, to see this episode who have been watching most of them recently shout out to you you know who i'm talking about <laughs> it's me otaku is <laughs> an otaku in like the anime community is a nerd essentially an otaku is is like, like a, you, you, it's, yeah, it's 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 just a it's a, a nerd of and of like Japanese anime and manga culture essentially. So it's like, you know how we have nerds and what's the, what the fuck's the other word? Nerd and uh, geek. Geek. It's essentially like their anime geeks essentially or manga geeks. It's like right. it's like people that are so like like anime, manga, and video games are like that's that's them and that's all they do. Yeah. That's literally okay, Lawrence. That's culture. A- literally, literally, <laughs> dude. I was just playing Valheim for four hours. I don't want to hear it. So that's not somebody's name, guys. That's just another word for like a term of someone who's I wanna, like. I want to so name my hard, dog that just for you. Love is hard for nerds. Is a Japanese web manga series written and illustrated by Fujita. Aired between April thirteenth, twenty eighteen, and June twenty second, twenty eighteen. 
Yep. The show has 11 episodes with two OVAs and one live action film. The main characters are Narumi, an office working woman who hides her Fujashi, Fujashi lifestyle. I'm going to go and I'm going to go figure out what that means for you. Hiro Taka, a handsome and capable company man who is a game otaku. The two seem perfect for each other, but love is difficult for otaku. <sighs> I just looked up what Fujoshi means. <laughs> I uh, had a feeling I knew what it means, but the literal translation, like translation, for it is pretty funny. Uh, Fujoshi is a self-mocking term that literally means rotten girl and refers to female anime fans who are nuts not only for attractive male characters, but for imagining them in relationships with one another. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who makes who makes these real terms? Like how that's mad detailed what that's you just so said. Funny. Like I can literally so picture funny. that. Wait, 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 read it one more time, please, because I know I'm about to use this on somebody. Uh, yeah, so I, 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 cause, yeah, because I know you know like four people like that. <laughs> Uh, Fujoshi is a self-mocking term that literally means rotten girl and refers to female anime fans who are not, not only for attractive male characters, but for imagining them in relationships with one another. Pretty much, they like the anime gay manga shit. Because because there's mangas and animes that's like, they're not like super, super gay, but it's like, they call them boys love, where the two main characters are both boys and they end up falling in love and being with each other. And that's ya- Yaoi? Yuri? I think it's Yuri. Hold oh, on. Yuri, as I thought, was lesbian. Okay, then it's Yaoi. Because that's the guy version. Uh, yeah, and there's girls that are like... Excuse me if them. that was the wrong term, by the way. I know Yaoi and Yuri. I know one is one and one's the other. No, I, I was forget. talking about the, 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 the saying oh, lesbian. Oh, yeah, Excuse yeah. me if that was the wrong term. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not... Well-versed on that. I don't... But, I personally um, don't really watch either of them. That's yeah, it's... <laughs> it's just me. Just not my thing. I'm not, I'm not, I do be watching Girl on Girls. Although I do want to see Yuri on Ice. <laughs> Yuri on Ice is supposed to be good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey yo! All right. So moving on genres. This is a romantic <sighs> comedy. Um, <clears throat> the opening theme titled "Fiction" is by Samika, and the ending theme titled "Kimi no Tonari" hey. were performed by Halka. The manga's compiled book volumes have frequently ranked on Oricon. Volume 2 has ranked first and sold up to 208,765 copies in its first week. The manga has ranked first in the 2016 edition of Kono Manga Gasogu... <laughs> Kono, Kono Manga Gasugoi. This hey. manga is a... Oh... This manga is amazing. That's what I mean. It's an amazing. It's amazing. Um, it was nominated for the forty-first Kodansha Manga Award in the Best General Manga category in September twenty seventeen. It won the Web Manga General Election. Shiro Sagi- Sagisu. The music composer for the 2020 live action film adaption was awarded the Sandro Forte Award for Best Motion Picture Score by Montreal's 24th Fantasia International Film Festival. Okay. That's pretty good. <clears throat> That's like the so, most yeah. random, like, best motion they picture know. score winner I've ever heard of. Yeah. Because I would not have thought that, like, the, the live action film for this would have, like... Grammy like would have like an award winning soundtrack. But I guess this guy or girl, I don't know who this is. Who is this? You a guy or girl? Let's find out. Give them praise. It is a man. 45 year career span. Holy shit. We Yo, what? he worked on Evangelion 2.0. What? Alright. As soon as I saw that, now I know. Now I know why he's winning uh, awards. Jesus. He worked on Berserk, the Golden Age arc. Oh, there shit. There you go. Okay. And on Bleach. Oh, no wonder he's winning awards. And oh. Neon Genesis. Okay, well, he wins every award now. Yeah, yeah, yeah Jesus Christ. <laughs> Neon Genesis, Bleach, you know, Berserk. 
Let's see what else. Attack oh, on oh Titan, God. Shin Godzilla. Oh my God. I want to hire him. Holy shit. A whole bunch of big names. Holy shit. This person's amazing. Jesus. No wonder he's winning awards. Oh, man. But yeah, so, so the the anime starts Chris? out. What? 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 What are you I was just going to say, what you got? Yelling what at you me? Got? What, loud what, noises. I don't not. like it. I don't like it. I don't like loud noises. Uh, so yeah, Narumi wakes up. It, dude, this anime is literally just like fucking... They followed some lady around for like a week and like, all right, we're going to write your story into an anime. That's what this anime feels like. Like everything that happens, I I did last week. Like woke up late, freaking the fuck out. Like four alarms went off. Like, oh, Jesus Christ, got to make it to work. Showed up barely on time, out of breath. That's how it opens. Then the... Has like a catchy pop song intro, which was kind of cool. I liked it. Um, I know Lawrence was memorizing all their little dances in the theme song. I can tell he's gonna. He's gonna. <laughs> don't worry, guys. Next week he's gonna dance for us. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, <Yeah>, okay. <laughs> I can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> so Narumi is being shown around work. Uh, I, I forget what her boss's name is. I think it's Hana. Uh, she's showing Narumi around, and while they're walking down one of the hallways, Narumi actually sees an old friend who, ba ba ba, what's it, Hirotaka. Uh, it turns out they used to go to grade school and junior high together, and they're walking in the hallway. And they, she says hi, you know, like, oh, let's go get dinner after work, it's been so long since I've seen you, blah blah blah. And then uh, right before she walks away, he turns around and is like, Oh, hey, uh, how did that thing go at, like, and I forget what Comic-Con he said, but he, like, named one, and she, like, fucking shuts down. She goes crazy. That part was mad funny. Because <laughs> of the noise that it made when it said that. She was like, said that? <laughs> and her, Yeah, it and her face. It was funny how that cut, the scene <laughs> cut when that happened. Because you it don't expect it, because everything seems so normal, and she's like, yeah, let's go get dinner, I haven't seen blah, 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 and he says that, and she's just like, huh? Like her face, just like fucking. <laughs> it's mad funny. <laughs> so essentially, it cuts to them uh, having dinner. They're drinking, eating, and I'll let you know. I've seen this show before, obviously. Uh, wh- when you saw this part, what did you think they were playing on the Switch? I think it was the Switch that they were playing on. I had but... the f- when they before when they, they don't bef- show you what yeah. they're playing. Oh, I yeah. had no idea. I had the, no idea. So the reason why I knew it was Monster Hunter was because she was like, oh, I put down some traps, blah, blah, blah. So then in my head, I was she like, did say and that. I was like, oh, okay. And then he said something I about like, uh, make sure you eat blah, blah, blah to boost your stamina. And in my head, the first time I watched it, I was like, oh, they got to be playing Monster Hunter. What fucking other game do you? I, I was like, it's either Monster Hunter or Final Fantasy or some shit. Like one or the other. And it's funny, too, because when it when it cuts to the screen of it. They put into the thing like the very first handheld Monster Hunter game is on the screen. So it's and but it's not animated. It's the same graphics as what the game was, no. which was kind of which was kind of dope. When I seen that, I was like, <laughs> "Oh, that's fire!" <laughs> when I seen that, I was like, "That was fire!" I was like, "That's tough." Like I didn't Dude. know. I was like, "That's dope." It's just so funny how it just cuts to them drinking, they're eating, and then they're just sitting at the bar just fucking playing Monster Hunter on the Switch. And you find out from her that she used to work at a different company but had to leave because her ex found out that she liked male, like, boys love manga and, vid- and like, likes to occasionally play video games. And he was just like, I could never date someone like that and left her. And the embarrassment was too much for her, so she quit her company and came to this one. Um... She says she doesn't want to date someone who is a gross nerd. Ugh, my heart. That's me. Lawrence, that's us. We're gross nerds. Yeah, yeah. No, that, uh, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's... I try not to admit it. <laughs> Dog, you... <laughs> like Dude, this show is literally just like, like what a lot of people these days are like. And not like... I don't want to say like how everyone... Because I feel like this is a phenomenon that's really happened since like... The 90s and on, you know? I, I don't feel like people really were like this, you know, like f- like 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. I feel like this is more as, as technology has, like, rapidly progressed. I feel like this is a thing that comes out where people are like, oh, I don't want to I don't want to be with a nerd, blah, 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 like all this stuff. I remember my dad was saying back in the day, nerds did great because everyone was like, oh, he's going to have a house. He's going to have blah, blah, blah. I'm never going to have to work, all this shit. And then, like, 
somewhere along the lines it switched to I don't want to be a nerd because they're gross and all they do is play games and blah 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 and like all that shit and this is uh, essentially what this anime is which is which is weird because he's not even a gross anime nerd he's like a hot looking dude with glasses and he has like a really good job I'm like what I'm like what yeah I'd date this yeah. man in a second holy shit he'll be, he'll be my sugar daddy holy shit I like the um the the one thing that I really liked about this show mm-hmm. was um to me it gave me like a real life vibe to it oh yeah I felt like I was I felt like I was watching Friends oh like, yeah yeah I yeah. felt like I felt like the very first so like I could tell it was <clears throat> like present day updated mm-hmm. because the way in the be the very first scene she wakes up grabs her cell phone off the charger. Oh yeah, like immediately. Right on her bed yep. I'm like, yo, we all do that. So yep. I was like, oh, they didn't. This show was like on some. Is this a yeah. slice of life? Yeah, it's like a uh, more romantic comedy. I want to say more leaning towards that. Is is slice like, of life? It's a, a a category that is like doesn't really have a name, but people just know. Or does it yeah. literally have like a slice of life has like a, a literal thing. It's it's more of like. A, uh, I'm trying to think. Let me look up the real definition of slice like, of life. Do do slice of life be in category sections like slice of life? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like slice of life okay. is like a, a literal like a literal thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Slice of life anime definition. Because I don't want to give the wrong one. Um, the slice of life category of story is a story that portrays a cut out sequence of events in a character's life. It may or may not contain any plot progress and little character development and often has no exposition, conflict, or I don't know what the fuck that work is with an open ending. Denouement, I think is that word. So it's just no, like I... you're watching a show where kind of nothing is really going on. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now I now I get it. I get it. And there's definitely um, lots of anime like that out there where it's just yeah. kind of like, meh. I like it. Um, nice. So yeah, no, I thought like to me that like felt natural. Like I said, like I felt like I was watching Friends when she first goes to the office and is like meeting everybody. It's very casual, right? Um, the uh, I thought it was I thought it was dope how halfway through the episode they give a they do the pause slide Char- the character card. And, yeah, in between yeah. switching scenes, they do the character card, the, the breakdown of the character's likes and dis uh. uh narumi's likes and dislikes and that gives you a glimpse of the character and that helps yeah. with character that helps with character relation it gives it like a whole in depth like yeah. in depth though which i had to repause it and like read the whole thing oh, me oh, yeah. too yeah yeah like in-depth stuff that you didn't that they're not even showing in the first episode oh they um, never even it's just shit that you're just that like just happens oh. later on you're like oh i guess she likes it, but they just straight up tell you right here. Like, she likes this, Gosh, she likes this, she does this, blah, 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 mm-hmm. blah, blah. So you're like, oh, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, the, the the playing the Monster Hunter, man, I, I lost my shit when I saw that. <laughs> I was like, no way. And the fact that it really looked real, and you just said that that was yeah, they that just was re- that was real. Yeah, they just that took it fire. from the first one. That was fire. Um, So the main thing I fucked with about this show was monster was that i knew it it okay okay besides that <laughs> it normalized being a nerd dude that guy my hero if i worked at if i worked a desk job i would be him minus the smoking i would be doing everything else that he's he's doing Ugh. and like the main and the reason why i said it's because this show gives me so what this show was doing was love is hard for nerds is the name right like Okay. You go into the show, we find out the main character, Narumi, she's a nerd undercover, and it's like she, yeah, she's, to, she you wants know, to keep it under wraps. You remember those girls that like that like they hit all the shit that they liked in high school and college and stuff because they were afraid of other people finding out? Because they haven't met really met other people that they are they like Meanwhile, that like the same shit. Half the other world is the same way. Yeah, but they all but no one wants to be the first <laughs> no one, one to be says like, anything. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So everyone's just kinda hiding their interests. And then like exactly. I'm the one weird dude at school because I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> that happened to me in real life. It's a sad day. Uh anyways, exactly. continue. <laughs> um 
but yeah, like I, I, I really, I, I like that because so. What I felt like what the show was trying to do was so the main character is trying to hide her the fact that like, she's a nerd and she likes anime and they all they're always playing their switch. Yeah. They hit the ball, um, Narumi and um. Dog, let's just go hit a bar and bring our switches, though. Let's like yeah, they, go, they went to the they went to the bar and were playing video games at the bar, drinking, just chilling. Like they was really just chilling, and yeah. I'm just like. And the show was literally about like love for nerds. And like the second like, time they, hard for nerds. yeah, and like the yeah. second time they go to the bar, he he goes because she she he thinks she's upset about something, and she's like, oh, like it's my first day and blah, and then says the whole thing about boyfriend. He's like, all right, cool, can I go home? She's like, no, 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 I have there's something else I really need your help with, and then they end up grinding Monster Hunter for like three hours at the bar. You know, it's like. You can. They did all the real stuff, and they're like, "All right, let's do all the fun stuff, like all in one." It's it's what it's what we are doing, like what I'm doing now at thirty. You know, when I was a teenager, I did all the video game shit. Early twenties, I was only doing all the work stuff because I was like, "The world doesn't want me to have fun anymore." And then you just hit a point in your life when you're like, "I'm gonna collect Pokemon cards and watch anime and be a mailman. I'm gonna do all that shit." And it's like, yo. And no one it's gives a okay shit. Okay to be no yourself. one cares. It's okay yeah. to be yourself. It's okay to like. And that's what the guy's trying to tell her, cause he he's at work and he's quiet and he does his work, and then and then it's twelve o'clock and he brings out his switch and during his lunch he just plays switch at his desk. So that he's just gaming. Mad funny, by Dude, the way. That was so funny. His, his, his boy his was like, "What are you doing?" He didn't even speak. He was he, like, he pointed at the. <laughs> He's like, it's 12. 12.03. It's lunchtime. And then he... <laughs> yo, he it was... Switch, I was like, yo, I'm like, dude. this dude's mad cool. Like. And then he just pulls snacks, like, out of his desk, and he's just, like, eating yeah, crackers he's and shit. Eating. I'm like, yo, that's, boy, he's lit, bro. Like, I do that. Like, I would do that. Like, yeah. And his boy, who's also his boss, is just like, do you have no shame? Like, what the hell? And just walks right. away, just leaves him alone. Oh, One man. thing... One small thing that I noticed, Narumi mentions the, oh man, this this gave me like a personal like oh god, oh what she said euphoria, because Monster Hunter, I love it. So near so the good. end, he she needs a a gem to to make whatever armor a weapon. <laughs> yeah, she needs Narumi. And if you play Monster Hunter, for everyone who doesn't know, Monster Hunter is like an action adventure game where you have a character and you just fight monsters you go into hunts and you can go into hunts with one to four people and you can fight monsters and after you kill the monster you have a chance of getting certain items from the monster that you can use to build armor and now some of these some of these items are super duper duper rare there's yep. like a like 0 0.05 percent chance zero five. there's crazy yeah. it's crazy but what's Hard really funny thing. is is the thing that she wanted wasn't even that rare of a drop. She just wanted a ruby. That rare? No, she just wanted a ruby. She just wanted like a monster ruby. No, which... no, no, no. Those are those are hard to get. Are they? I thought in the new yeah, Monster the Hunter they were. The ruby... I thought yeah, they were nah, pretty easy are... to get. Oh, whatever. My bad. I, nah, I must. Nah, I might nah, be nah, thinking nah. of something else. Now nah, but... those are hard to get. That's why I'm bringing it up because she mentions the desire sensor. She was like, Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Something about the desire sensor, and I'm like. Everyone watching, the, everyone so, who doesn't wait. play Monster Hunter is going to have no idea what she's You know what we about. just what? did? You know what we just did? We literally just did that scene where you're freaking out because you're like, it's super rare, blah, blah. And I'm over here like, dude, it's super easy. Because in the in the show, he's just like, yo, I just got two he's, of them. I got but two of them. He's he, like, we can he keep, just happened to get yeah. lucky. And he's like, we can just keep grinding it out. But, and I'm over here like, what do you mean? Those are, those are the rubies? Those are easy to get. And you're over <laughs> here like, the rubies. <laughs> I'm like we just we just played out the scene, Lawrence. Holy shit! We literally we did. just did the live action but scene. <laughs> that that's a little what are they called? Easter eggs, kind of. Like it was cool that she used. Like I like the fact that they stuck that in here. Right. Oh. You know, like the desire sensor is like a term that people use for Monster Hunter because you when you kill those things and you want to make the super strong armor, you're gonna be fighting these monsters for hours trying to find them. Sometimes you might just fight them twice. And people be like, oh, your desire sensor. 
Right. And someone even made a parody Twitter page called Desire Sensor <laughs> with the logo Dude, of a. If of you the think gem. this is great, you That's should watch the logo. rest of the show because there's mad references I know you're gonna get in the show from like because because it's 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 about people that game watch anime and, and read manga, so it's all shit that you and I both know. So you know that no, in all the no. episodes, there's gonna make references to games or anime shit that you're gonna be like, like right now we're like Desire Sensor. You're gonna there's other shit that you're gonna see later on. That's pretty dope. Oh man! <laughs> and then that the ending. I just want to say, man, the ending. I oh, wish my. every relationship started like theirs did. I, I was like, <laughs> I'm out. I was like, I'm out of here. Nope. <laughs> I'm out of here, bro. I was like, no way. That Dude. was that was. I was not. I was not. That caught me off guard. So essentially, like, what happens <laughs> is she goes. He's complaining. mad quiet. Like, oh yeah, he's his super facial expression quiet. Never changes. Barely he talks. Never. Barely <laughs> talks. Like it's always oh, gaming, and that's it. And so essentially, what happens is she's been complaining the past few days about with shitty ex boyfriends. How they all break up with her when they find out she's into like uh, boys romance manga and occasionally plays games, blah, blah, blah. And they're walking home. They've just been drinking, eating, gaming. But all of a sudden, he's just like, she's talking about it still. And he's like, hey, why don't you and me date? And she's like, shut the hell up. What are you talking about? And and he's just like, well, you know, if we dated, I, I, I would... I would play video games and hunt monsters with you all the time. I wouldn't make fun of you for like in manga. I would go to comic cons with you and I would help you set up your stands and shit. And she just instantly like, you're hired and like puts her hand out to like, to like seal the deal with a handshake. <laughs> Man. Yeah. It Dude, was so it supportive was, though. He is a supportive. Nah, that person. was, that was wild. I wasn't expecting that at all, but I, it was very, yeah. Came out of nowhere. I like it. Fine, I'll stay. It was cute. It was adorable as hey, shit. Dude, was he was cute. just like, I'll take care of you. We can play games together. We can fucking go to Comic Cons together. I won't make fun of you for your like of your obsessions and shit. I'm like, oh this and man I, this man's cute as fuck. Man, I was like, wow, the relationship's about to be fucking what the fuck? No, as a matter of fact, I actually have it paused here and I'm gonna run <laughs> He said Yo, look at what he said. Now, I'm sorry. I'm a, I gotta read it. I, I'm gonna read it. I'm talking to you. Stop talking like it. All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on. What's this? Flat chest? Ha ha. If it was me, I'd farm mats and level with you whenever you want. Every girl's dream. Every girl wants to hear that. If you had to work overtime, I'd wait for you. I wouldn't disappoint you and make you cry. Oh. I make sure you never say. Wait, what did you make? <laughs> Wouldn't disappoint you and make you cry. I make sure you never say that you made the wrong choice. Ugh, man. I can go with you to the con next weekend as your sales assistant. I was like, bro, dog. What are you doing now? Now, if any woman watches this, if we don't do what you just did, I can't let my girlfriend watch this show because she'll you break can't. Up with me. You can't because she'll, she'll be like, like she'll just be this sitting is there what, like this is what those cockles are like. She'll just be like. I thought you- <laughs> I thought you was an otaku. You don't say you don't talk to me like that. And I'll be like, yeah, well, that's because I'm an asshole. There's a difference there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but nah, that that was cute. That was a very was cute. cute part. Caught me off guard, and I was just like, low key, man. It's like, it's like, I love to see it, Hell and yeah. that's another reason why I'm like, I, I fuck I fuck with this show because, like I said, it normalizes being a nerd like right it normalized this community that's why like yo like this anime has so had fire, such bro. a shit stigma for the longest time and i feel like only really like maybe which sucks too because it only really got normalized and like more accepted ever since after i left fucking college so in all the times where i needed it to be normalized fucking everyone was like ah. and now everyone's <laughs> like yeah who gives a shit and i'm like cool fuck all y'all <laughs> Hate all you people, but uh, but it, hey, it's it's normalizing it, which is good, you know. Now mm-hmm. you know how many kids you know running around now that are like six years old watching anime and shit. When 
I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, we were, those kids were labeled as weird, you know? Now it's like every fucking kid on the planet watches anime, which is awesome. I love it. I could not tell anyone I played Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was... <laughs> just couldn't do it. You just did certain stuff you couldn't Dude, do. Dude, like... in the fifth grade, my boy Peter was coming over so we could trade cards. And nice. the cool kids fucking caught us talking about it. I got shit for like a week because of that. It was bullshit. Yeah, man, like... So it's just like I I I, I just God, why I, the fuck I, I do I remember that? <laughs> I pre- nah, man, that's like Damn. shit that it's for real that you will remember for the rest of your life. Like yeah. that's a that's a reason why I appreciate I appreciate this. Like this yeah. is the first time I've seen like a show where I'm just like, oh, this is on some like kind of be yourself type shit. But yeah. also, this show is fire just for people who are like us, who are anime video games, who are just like geeks, right? Like. We're just geek or nerds, whatever. Right. But but we've turned it into it's lit now. It's it, it's lit now. We you know what I'm saying? It's, it's everywhere so, now. I love it. And I now I like it's that. the number one movie in Japan is anime. Take that. Jerks. <laughs> yeah, like that's dope, uh, man. So so uh, yeah, man. I, I liked it. I liked it. I, 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 I yeah. thought it was a good show and I was like, I was like, oh, okay. It, it, it was more than just comedy for me. I'm seeing it was real. how they're portraying yeah. the stuff, and I'm like, I could lit- I, I could literally relate to this whole thing. And, and another big thing is these aren't high school kids, like 80% of anime out there. Like, were they're grown-ups workers, in companies. You know? They're like, literally our age, like mid to late 20s. Companies, you know, have apartments, have bills and shit. Go it's like, it's go okay go to the to... bar, you know that kind mm-hmm. of shit. So it's it's yeah, no, that's, that's good. dope, man. So it's yeah, yeah, one. I appreciated that. I appreciated that. Hell yeah! Well, I'm glad I'm glad you picked it for us to watch. I'm happy. <laughs> it's a short watch too, only eleven episodes. So check it out. It's good. It's good. Oh man, real quick so... before we before we move on, Lawrence, I mm-hmm. want to make plans with you right now so that when when you try and back out later, I got video proof. That you're not doing it. But uh, March 25th, we're renting out a movie theater, right? To go see Godzilla. We're doing that. Yo, what's the word, bro? Let me know. Cause March 25th? I, I'm, that's when the I'm movie da- comes out. So, so have you looked? Have you actually looked into that, though? Minimum 100 like- bucks, Maximum 200 It all depends on how many people you're bringing. So for two of us, probably be around like a hundred ish bucks. But we get the whole theater, and it comes with food and drinks, like like a popcorn and like a soda and shit. But we get the whole theater to ourselves. And I, but I also know a couple other people that want to come, so it'll probably be like a hundred twenty bucks split between like seven or eight people, and we get the whole fucking place to ourselves. Yo, absolutely. What the fuck? I'm super down. <laughs> I've been trying to do that. That's a All Thursday. Right. That's a Thursday. 25th is a Thursday. Thursday night. Yeah. 21st. 21st. Thursday night. Oh, the 21st. Oh, that's Friday a Sunday. Night. Sunday. I don't know. The 21st is a Sunday. Yeah. Might be the Martin 25th. 21st. I don't know what fucking day I said. Let me look it up. Yeah. Oh, yo, I'm super down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you said the 25th. So it's the like, 25th. Oh, the yes. Okay. 25th. So that's a. Yo, I'm super down, bro. That sounds Hell mad yeah. fun. Hell yeah. You heard it here, guys. He's joining me. We'll 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 get back to you and let you know how it went. <laughs> got video proof now. He's got to go. What? Class on Thursday night. Damn dog, looks like you're not going to class. <laughs> <laughs> he said. He said. Godzilla is more important than graduating. I know. Tell Chris me I'm wrong. Your comment about how Tell you're me not I'm exactly. wrong. Go ahead and do the Chris thing and be like, of course, duh, fail. Duh. Watch this movie. Duh. Duh. Like, <laughs> hell damn. yeah, dog. Does it have to be? I'm no, down. we can do it. We can if go I like that weekend. Then, yeah, because I, I literally only have class on Thursdays, bro, all week. Yeah, it's that's fine. One day. So if we could do any other day, we could be, it could be the next night. Yeah, that's fine. We can go that weekend. That's fine. Yeah, I'll, yo, I'm super down. Keep me, po- I'm, I'm yeah. down to do I'll it. I'll keep you like, posted. Right we'll do it. Movie theater is fire as fuck. You hear that, everyone? Um, I got, I got Lawrence on on video confirmation. He can't back out now. He'd be lying to all of you guys too if he backed out. <laughs> <laughs> but oh um, man, um, so guys, in uh, anime news, dun dun dun. 
the fifth season of My Hero airs on the 27th of March, guys. So actually two days after Godzilla comes. That oh, yeah. is a mm, Saturday. Sun? Saturday? Ah, uh, so my, oh, yeah. oh my God, it's about to be fire. So that means that. That means. Oh my God. That means we rent the theater out. We watch Godzilla. We all go back to the crib. Watch episode one of My Hero. Duh. Tough. <laughs> that means that Thursdays we have TPN. Friday, JJK. Saturday, My Hero AOT. What type of life? And then Monday, Other Side Picnic. Tuesday, Slime. Oh my god, you only have one day of no new anime. What comes out on a Wednesday? Let's do all seven days. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea what the fuck comes out on Splendor. All right, so the, the well, weekend I'll find is it. definitely stacked, though. The weekend is stacked. Will JJK be done by then? Maybe. How many more? What episode that's did JJK a, just that, come out? That's a good question. Something's telling me that by that time, because that is one, two, three. What episode of JJK three, just came out? Was it 18, 17? 20th. 20th. JJK will be done. The fu- JJK ends the week before. On 24, right? So that means that that means there's... So this is, this is the 20th just dropped. I'm assuming it's going up to 24, which means 21, 22, 23. Or maybe maybe you might get like a two-week overlap. If they, if they do, if JJK takes no breaks, then this Friday, 21 should come out. 22 comes out on the 12th, 23 comes out on the 19th, and 24 will come out on the 26th. So that means there will be one week of all-star releases. There'll be a weekend of all-star releases for every single day if everything goes according to plan, which is that pretty dope. So, yeah, guys, My Hero, the fifth season airs on March 27th. Get ready. You know what time it is. We're getting back into it. Hell yeah. And Lawrence, what are we watching next week? Let them Next know. week, we got High Rise Invasion. Have no Hell idea what yeah. it is, but Chris, Chris just came out on Netflix last Friday, I want to say. I think so. Uh, it's a wild ride. It's good. It's I think you'll ride. like it. I think you'll like it. It's good. What's it about? Oh, God. Just a, uh, just a small, quick, just like what for people who are like, okay. People are trapped fine. on high rises. You can't leave the rooftops. Uh, the only way to leave them is by jumping off the edge and committing suicide or by taking bridges to the tops of other high rises. Uh, people are randomly teleported to this world to defend themselves from it during that. And they are being hunted by people wearing masks that have guns and knives and weapons and all this shit. So yeah, okay. And the whole was, thing is, to, great. and the whole thing is to figure out who the next great perfect god will be. So there you go. All right, cool, great. Yeah, <clears throat> you're sitting there like, okay, I'm down. <laughs> that was the <laughs> best description you could give without giving too much description, which is perfect. That's yeah. that's literally perfect. <laughs> so yeah, um, <clears throat> fuck yeah. So yeah, there it is, guys. You got everything. For That's sure, what we got for, for sure. next week. Uh, right. Was there anything else, Chris? No, was that Good. was it. We did it. We did it all. All right, guys. We'll catch you next week. Until then. Have a good one. Try and, try and fall in love and not be a nerd. <laughs> or be a nerd. Who knows? Or be a nerd. <laughs> and not fall in love. All right. <laughs> <laughs>